We get a epic cutscene. Hey guys, it's Airsy61 here, and we are playing Super Metroid for the Super NES. Anyway, in the last episode, we just got our speed boost, and we got a missile in here, and I totally forgot about it, like a minute later. And so, and actually, no, you do not want to go through there. It's actually a much easier way to go through all this at this point. Yeah, come on. No, die, 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 die. Okay. Anyway. Um. I, I've actually played through the game a bit more on a practice file, I guess. I should call it. <laughs> it's just a copy of this file from where we left off, and I just played through. I've been like craving this game after I start my let's play of it so and I can't just like play I, I don't exactly want to play the whole game straight you know because then all the commentaries from the same time and they could do yeah some crazy stuff for example today apparently um I uh, on it's like the Pokemon dungeon. They have a Zelda dungeon. They have Pokemon dungeon. Um, some guy had a Japanese 3DS, and apparently today they released um, the Pokedex 3D Pro. And he's like, it apparently takes up like over like three and a half gigabytes. And I'm like, serious? That's like that's crazy for for a single app on a 3DS to take over three. What am I doing? What am I doing? For some reason I have the thought we already have the next upgrade. <laughs> the next upgrade actually allows us to get back up to the um, back to criteria which is we don't exactly have to go to criteria criteria but um, we do have to go to I believe it's Brinstar. No wait, no, no. You don't have to go to Brinstar. My bad. Um, but yeah, you, of course you have to go to Brinstar. That's the only. Th that's what's in between Criteria and Norfair. But what you need in Brinstar, Criteria is kind of like optional. But you can get a lot. You can get a ton of stuff. Literally, like a absolute ton of stuff. And there's some guys coming out of that tube, so we should probably go in it. That's actually a dead end right there. Unless you go down and go in this tube. Well, it's not really a tube, but a little secret passageway. And we will get the ice beam. Now, something I should mention. As you can see, that shoots ice beam. It freezes enemies. Also, if you go over here, you can actually turn stuff off. So, for example, let me see. We can now turn off the ice beam now that we got it. That is actually the most likely thing you will do now that you have the ice beam. Because the ice beam actually keeps um, enemies alive. Like, for one more one more hit than normal. So, like, these guys may have died one hit when we shot them normally. And now they take two hits. But it also has a lot of advantages. Such as these guys can now be frozen. So you can actually stop their attacks. So, that's actually really nice. Um, other enemies you can freeze and actually create platforms. And stuff like that. So See, like, right here. You actually have to do that. And it's really helpful that you have the spacer beam right there. Because you can act... Oh, wow. Don't tell me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, we just barely made it. Even these enemies can be... Uh, oh, crap. Ow, ow, ow. These enemies. Right there. Those, like ones you cannot kill that were like everywhere you can now freeze them and use them for platforms and that actually is extremely useful and now there's actually a hole right there too yeah but that doesn't matter much to us because we actually now have to go to where I was trying to go earlier and since I have um, been gone for like I've been gone for like two months before what was it? Wednesday? I mean, I've put up like boss rush and stuff, but 
Um, if you haven't noticed, this episode is up instead of Boss Rush, and that, the reason for that is actually because, um, me and the next participant have not found a good schedule to, um, record yet. Like, a good time. We're trying to do it as soon as possible so that we can get it up as soon as possible, you know. But, I can't guarantee when it'll be back up, so... To make up for that and me being gone for two months, other than a few random videos I actually upload, mainly boss rush and videos I've done of Ikuyo, um, I will be uploading two episodes of Super Metroid today. So, kind of felt bad for being gone for forever, and I have the chance, so I'll take it. Now, and there's the leech guy. You can actually freeze him, huh? And kill him with a missile. Yeah, you can kill those guys with a missile always. Ow. But now that we have the long jump, we can get up here. And I highly recommend you do not bomb these. I will not bomb it. Because these platforms actually break and then it's like... It is like insane trying to get up here without those platforms. Because these guys, it's okay, you know. Just freeze them. And I froze that guy in a horrible spot. Okay. Wait for him to unfreeze. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah! Alright. Mistakes. I am done with mistakes. Oh. Uh, and then I make another one, right? Oh, uh, I can get up here. So, anyway, now we can actually head into um, the upper. This upper portion of Brinstar. It's not the most. Not the highest point, but. This is like, um, probably the main entrance, I would say. If you ever really want to go from Noir Fair to Criteria, this is probably the way you'll go from now on. Because the other way is, like, kind of out there. But that's only if you don't want to get, like, anything in between there that you can get at that point. Because there's, um, quite a few other items. And great, yellow door now. Let's head down here because if you didn't notice, there's that blue dot down there. Not blue. It's a blue room. Blue room. I never mentioned this. Blue rooms mean you haven't seen them. Pink rooms means you've been in them. That's all it means. So, um, so yeah. And great, these guys. Um, I. Oh yeah, there's generally every time you go back through like Brin Star because Brin Star really connects everywhere. We got the power bombs. Um, these are just kind of like there. All right, I'll just. Uh, there's no real good reason to show it to you, but um, these think of them as like the bombs, but with like five super missiles. <laughs> Yeah, it just like literally like destroys everything in the room. It, it's quite crazy. Um, it will reveal any hidden blocks, etc. But anyway, yeah, more than likely when you go through an area like Brinstar now, we now have like the high jump boots, we now have power bombs, we now have... Um, I'm gonna just open this because I don't want to bother opening it later. Once you open it once, it's always open, you know? Um... Oh, I don't need to save. But yeah, basically, more than likely, when you go back through an area, um, you'll have some new equipment, which will mean you'll be able to get to other areas that you were not before. Okay. Ah, die, die. Yeah, you know what? Thank you. Okay, now these guys ignore them. You know what? Power bomb activate! Now, this room might seem pretty empty, but there's a fake block right there. Well, plant enemy. You don't want to fall in those. They eat. Anyway, power bombs are, like, handed out like candy in this game, too. Because, as you can see, we just got, like, um, we just got five more. And in newer games, I think they only give you, like, two more, and you start out with, like, four or something. Because they are so overpowered, and this is the first game they were actually in the game, you know? And so I guess they just didn't really, you know, consider it as much, I would say, but... Yeah, they are honestly overpowered. So, 
But I really like using them to find out where other blocks are. And again, we're actually really close to our ship, so don't like bother trying to save power bombs or missiles at that because you can just get them all back in a moment. Um, also, I've noticed in the videos that um, sometimes Samus will disappear. Like, it's not, it doesn't happen on my screen. It only happens on my recording device. And I find that really weird. So, if anyone knows why and how to fix it, I would appreciate that. It's just a weird thing. It kind of reminds me of, um, if you've seen my uh, Let's Play of Link to the Past, I was mentioning there was like an Ether medallion, which is just magic. And basically, um,. On the Wii version of the game, whenever you used it, like, it was supposed to reveal any hidden blocks, but it would not reveal hidden blocks that it was supposed to. And I was just, like, stumped by it. I, I mean, I knew what to do, but the first time I played through it, I was just, like, stumped and, like, had to look it up, and then it was like, yeah, there's actually stuff here, and you're supposed to use this, and every time I used it, it wouldn't compare, so. I wonder if it's something like that, because... Yeah, I think on occasion Samus does disappear on my screen, but I don't know why it's doing that so often for my recordings. Now, here's something that is kind of optional. Hold on. When you're running, if you press down, you can actually charge up, and then you can like shoot up by pr pressing up and A. So, um, you're going to want to do that like right there, and then just fall down right here. And then, when you're going along that wall, just drop as many bombs as you can. Because this will... God dang it, it didn't work. Um, alternative is... Power bomb. Don't exactly recommend that. But it will reveal the path, so... Now, there's a way to do this later on, which I think is really what it's intended for. Because the blocks can, on can be broken by the bomb. There's some blocks... Alright, I'll, I'll just show you guys real quick. This is kind of an annoying thing right here. There's lava going up and down, and there's these blocks. And it's really easy to get hit in here. So what I recommend using is, since you'll have 10 power bombs if you're following what I've done, is going in here with your 10 power bombs and use them to open these blocks. Because opening them one by one, it, it just doesn't work. And there's quite a few nice items in here that you're going to want. There's actually like, I think you get like three upgrades from this whole thing. And freeze that guy. You could probably get those guys above and then like use them as platforms. But yeah, there's like three or four upgrades right here. See, there's the energy tank I wanted. That's probably the most motivating reason to come up here and do this. So... And then, now you're going to want to use another power bomb to open some more blocks. And then quickly get over here. And then, oh no, a dead end. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> they, they, they throw dirtier tricks at you in this game. And, no. So yeah, you don't need it. You should use them pretty cautiously because they are very limited and crap, crap. Oh no, a dead end. See, <laughs> much harder to figure that one out considering we've been doing it the whole time. And then there's some bugs right there, but lava's still coming up. Now in this room, use a power bomb and it doesn't reveal all the blocks. Okay. You see how there's four different... Oh, great. You have to come in here, I think, two different times to do it. I was trying to see if I could do them both at once. There's probably a way to do them both at once, but... Yeah. I'll try to remember to come back for... Well... Uh, yeah, how about this? I'll cut to me getting there and just going and getting it in a sec. Um, bombs? No, power bombs right here. So yeah, that will just put us, like, um, where we got our first energy tank. That's right there. So I'll see you guys in a second when I get that missile expansion.
Alright guys, I'm back. Anyway, as you can see I lost a lot of energy, um did something stupid, um where that energy tank we got just a second ago was I tried to actually um go really faster there and got caught in the lava because um the super or I don't know if this is like again, this is like another thing involving how the um game doesn't like show stuff that it should the lava disappears when I use power bombs I do not know if that was actually um, in the original Super NES version or not but it's on my game it disappears when I'm using the power bombs so that's yeah it, it doesn't help <laughs> anyway um, ow. not too worried about my health most of these enemies we fought like when we had like less than this HP and we are actually going back to where um I actually never mentioned this um Ollie I really should have mentioned this when I was here the first time but um this place is the escape sequence from Metroid 1 and this is where the final boss was and there was something we could have got here like our very this is actually where you can get your very first come on come on oh wait never mind <laughs> I totally was thinking it was something else I was thinking it was an energy tank for some weird reason but yeah you could have got 15 missiles before you went and fought the Chozo um, statue which would have been which would be really nice because Missiles, like, make that fight. I never found that until recently. I've looked at a few maps to check if I've got everything and whatnot on occasion. That's how I knew in the first episode there wasn't any item below that missile expansion we found here. The first one we found. Even though it looked like there was something below. is because I looked up maps of it and it told me there wasn't, so... That's self-explanatory. Anyway, let's head on through here. As you can see, like, there's enemies down here, and a lot of them. Now, as you can see, there's actually... There's actually something hidden in this room. There's an energy tank up there. I think you need to have, um... The high jump to get that. There probably is a way to get around that, but... I know how I get it with eye jump. So now there was actually um a secret passageway up in the middle of those blocks that were down. You just need to use a power bomb, and you'll see it pretty obvious. If you actually do a wall jump up there, um, it won't do you any good basically, because it just leads to a room with water and spikes. Which yeah, that didn't help us. Now if you come over here, there's actually a secret. Kaboom! Yeah. And we got more power bombs! Yay! But it gets better. This actually connects to the rest of Brinstar, so. That is like. It is really nice that this all meets up right here. That way you don't have to go back up through um, where Mother Brain's room was. You'll just come out that door, so. That's what that door does. But now there's actually a ton we can... Um, well, not really a ton, let me see. I'm trying to think. We can't really do that. We could go... Uh, that's quite a ways away. I will cut back to where that um, running room was. Clear back up there. Where that small blue portion is. With the blue save. So I will cut right to there. Okay, guys. Um, I actually forgot. There's something else I need to show right here. If you come down here and break, if you break those blocks, you'll fall down here, and you will come over and you will meet this little guy. And that guy will be to importance of us in a sec. Um, there's an energy refill station. Really not that important. I don't believe there's a way to those rooms below us right here. I think that's somewhere else. But anyway, if you wait for this guy for a sec, follow him. He will teach you how to do this. So, except for he won't go through those. So that's what that was. Um, I believe there's actually something else I will be showing in just a sec. I will. Let me see. 
Um, is it here? No, it's um, it's actually over here. I'll show that at the um after we go to this other room we're going to. So I'll be right. Actually, we're right there because <laughs> there's that save that I never went into. Oh, we can actually. Oh, never mind. It is right here. My bad. It's actually right below that floor. We will go in there in a moment. For now, we want to take care of this room. This episode might get a bit long because of me showing all these stuff. I want to get it done with. So, anyway, open this door. Head in here, and this is a reserve tank. Now, basically, what this does is if you go over here that's actually our supply and there's four reserve tanks and what they do is when you run out of energy if you stored up some energy it will automatically restore some of your energy and it's really nice it's automatically on auto so as soon as you die you get all your energy that's in those reserve tanks they only fill up when you run out of energy and if you head through here we get a missile okay i'm sorry about that but <laughs> But, on top of that, if you bomb right there, come on, we got another missile! I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but we got another missile, so we are just like, they're just handing stuff out to us. And guess what guys, it's not done yet. <laughs> like really, this is probably one of the things that is really worth doing as soon as you get the power bomb, or, well, you don't really need the power bombs to do any of this stuff, so... But that's why you'll be coming back up here is mostly for the power bombs. We'll get another super missile. And that's good because we've only had like our main one, if I'm correct. Like this whole time is like our main one and now this one. So now we can go ahead and we can actually head down here where we actually need a um, power bomb to head on through. So now we get this room. There was a room that was locked up there, and I actually think that's a one-way door, if, I'm, if my memory serves correct. Now, in here, you're going to just want immediately go and use a super missile. These guys, kind of the point of them is they always give you super missile, or not super missiles, power bombs. So yeah, just do that immediately, period. Now, in this room, you immediately want to run, and as soon as you see that, jump. Trust me on this. Um, I will show you why you want to do that in a sec. So just run as soon as you see that come on your screen. Just jump and you should be fine. Open this door and we'll get another super missile. We are just collecting stuff like crazy right here. And we're not done. I mean, 15, I believe we just, yeah, we have 15 super missiles. I don't know how many power bombs. But right here there's actually a secret um, drop. Really <laughs> annoying the first time you play this game and you don't know about the drop and then trying to get past it without running first. You just need to run as soon as you see the energy tank jump. That is the best strategy to doing that. And it's really annoying, especially if you don't get it on your first try because um, then you have to go through this room. That's right, it's this room! Uh, really, this room sucks. <laughs> Cause there are like these pokey things everywhere. You got all the leeches like jumping around. You have bugs coming out of the tubes. I mean, all around this room is probably one of the most annoying in Brin Star. So, anyway, we got all our power bombs back. And you come in this room and you will meet another friendly creatures these are all the friendly creatures now these guys are going to teach you how to do wall jump here and I'm going to fail epically at this right now if you head through here it will actually lead back to this room but I don't want to go there that's the best way to go if you want to go get the energy tank now if you got the energy tank and the power bomb you will want to do this what, how I recommend doing is you run and then go like that really quick and you should be fine and you will get another power bomb so anyway guys I think with that that will finish this episode it may have gone a bit longer I don't know with all the times I have cut out stuff 
But thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I um, we're actually going back to Norfair, but um, there is one thing I want to show you guys on the way back. So I'll start it there, and then we'll just go to Norfair. It's actually really close to Norfair. Where I, the thing I want to show you guys is still in Brinstar, but it's close to Norfair. So see you guys then if I ever get out of this stupid wall thing. Ah, see you guys then.